Welcome to another video tutorial, in this session we were looking at how to generate electrical energy using footsteps. This project design would work in such a way that when someone steps on the platform, it will generate electric energy by converting pressure by footsteps into electricity which was done by the piezoelectric transducer, PZD materials used. We will be able to measure the amount of power generated and display it on the LCD screen. We will also charge a battery with this energy from the PZT material. And in the end, we will power a smart street light as well as a DC powered bulb with the energy generated. Our DC bulb is rated 12 volts so this design can power it effectively. Whereas the smart street light has a motion sensor that can control the brightness of the street light. We will be designing and constructing this project with locally sourced materials that are not expensive. Like the piezoelectric transducer, PZT, the Arduino Mega Board, the 20x4 LCD module and other component module. Stay tuned as we get into the nifty gritty on how to design and construct an electric energy generator using footsteps. Please before we go deeper into this tutorial, I would like you take a moment to like, subscribe and share our video if you like it. It is free. Now, that said, let us begin. The first thing we need to do is to assemble the materials based on the schematic diagram. To get a free copy of the schematic diagram for this project, kindly visit the link in the description below. The first thing we do is to assemble and align the PZT materials on a flat wood, this is done judiciously. After carefully placing these transducers on the flat board, we can move on to the next step. While in the process of laying down the PZT sensors, we have to align them in a way it will be most convenient to connect them in a series connection as shown in the schematic diagram. Once we have achieved this structural outline, we can then start joining the polarities of the PZT and both serial and parallel connect following the circuit diagram. To ensure that the connection is firm and tight, we had to solder the PZTs together where their polarities of their terminals were joined. However before this soldering process, we used a glue gun to glue the PZT Cessners onto the flat board so that it can be helping in place for the terminal joint and soldering. Then we could add some heights to elevate the pressure stepping platform. After which we tested it to see the amount of alternating current voltage AC, it was generating. We ran these process for some times, destroying and changing approaching and connection types to see which method gives us the most output. We also added a bridge rectifier and filter capacitor in the connection. If this was good enough, we can test it by charging a battery as shown here. The brain part of this project and some other module connectors was soldered on a VeraBoard. This is what we implored to save the cost of PCB fabrication. Most of the modules was connected using wire plugs, and we can power it on using a USB as shown here. The programming of this project was done using the Arduino IDE, the code can be gotten for free by clicking on the link in the description below as well as the description of what the lines of codes are doing. But when programming with the Arduino, we needed to use some of the libraries needed. You can also these in the link too. We programmed the LCD to show the voltage of the backup battery, and also show the percentage. We also displayed the voltage of the generated energy of the piezoelectric transducers when it is being stepped. As shown here. Some display of greeting or text wouldn't hurt anyone too. As we just wrote these code to ensure the project design performs as expecting. It can check the battery right after the greeting display. This is the kind of casing we used. We've got some holes inside to pass though our connector wires. 
and once we were satisfied with the outlook, we proceeded to carefully mounting the soldered Vera board with components inside the casing. This will house the soldered design. The connection were made neatly and carefully to avoid any misconnection that could result to mishaps in the testing of the footstep energy generator project design. We connected the power switch, and hooked the connectors onto the Vera board ensuring that the openings cut out for the matched exactly where the ports and power outlets for each modules was situated. This will play an important role when we are testing the project design. We wanted to make this footstep energy generator project design IoT based. So we added an ESP01 module in the design. This will help us communicate with the IoT dashboard. So in the end we had enough room for all the components and modules used in the footstep energy generator design. We had our backup batteries we situated inside, and glued with a glue stick gum. The 20x4 LCD module was mounted at the top of the casing or cover, and connected to the rest of the Vera board soldering by a 16-pin LCD wire connector. And we placed the DC to DC buck converter glued to the side of the casing and used its 5 volts output to power the modules in the circuitry. When the design is powered on and it is connected to the charging source which is the footstep energy generator, we can see the battery voltage to know what voltage the backup battery has been charged to. And when the user steps on the PZT side, we can see that the system is charging the battery. How long this takes to charge the battery full is something we had to experimentally figure out. And when we connected the DC light bulb to the design through the port created by the side, we can be ready to try and power an appliance or load by the project design. We also have the smart street light design close and equally connected to the footstep generator casing through its own port.
Too 